Today's questions from Dustin in Georgia. What are your thoughts on a Gerber baby life insurance plan for our new baby? It'd be twenty-two dollars a month for thirty-five thousand dollars, and that doubles when he turns eighteen. Is this a good investment? Okay, let's just say out loud that you are discussing buying a financial investment from a baby food company. Let's just say out loud that you just said that. Does that not make you giggle just a little bit, how stupid that is? I mean, really? You're going to buy an investment from a baby food company. It's a whole life life insurance policy on a baby. So let me help you with this, Dustin. It's stupid. Really, really stupid. Like, don't do it. The money, yeah, okay, let, let, let's, just, let's try this. Let me just do this. $22. Put this in the calculator because I just can't stand it. Okay, and, and 18 years. It was 18, right? Yeah, okay. All right, baby. Let's do this again. 18. Put it all in the calculator here. And let's see. So, okay, if you were to invest the $22 in a decent growth stock mutual fund per month, from zero to 18. Now let's go back. Remember the Gerber whole life life insurance rip off baby plan from the baby food company. It says if you put $22 a month in, you get $35,000 in life insurance and it doubles when he turns 18. They didn't say that you could cash it in for 70,000. They said you'd have $70,000 worth of life insurance. Which, let me help you with this, that means you're going to have about a ten or a $12,000 cash value. Roughly. I'll be off a little bit, but I won't be off much. However, if instead of getting ripped off, you were to put the $22 in a decent growth stock mutual fund for the same period of time, you would have not ten dollars or $12,000, not $70,000 worth of life insurance, but $125,000 on average with average mutual fund growth rates. Hmm. Interesting. If I'm half wrong, you still came out way ahead. So the answer is never buy life insurance as an investment. Let me say it again, because some of you get confused because you missed the part where I said never. Never buy life insurance as an investment. The math never works. And never is like never works. And this little Gerber policy is an example of that. As a matter of fact, it's one of it, the math is even worse on it than the typical rip off adult whole life policy. I mean, you can get ripped off by Prudential. You could get ripped off by New York Life. You could get ripped off by Northwestern Mutual. You could get ripped off by a lot of these whole life companies if you want to. And it, you wouldn't be ripped off as much as you would by Gerber mathematically here. Now, you'd be putting more money in, so you'd lose more money. But mathematically, percentage-wise, the $22 will turn into more than it would have if you would put it with those other companies. But, it, you know, sucks still sucks. At the end of the day, it's just a matter of how bad something sucks. And this is all bad. Never use, never use life insurance as an investment vehicle. It never works for you. It always comes out better if you do your investing in an investment. <gasps> Yeah, that's why they call it that. And if you need life insurance, just buy some inexpensive life insurance that is life insurance only, like term life insurance, in other words. And that's what I have done for 30-something years. And it's worked out for me. I'm a multimillionaire. And that's one of the reasons I am, because I didn't give my money to these rip-off whole life companies. And my babies were not insured by Gerber Life, a baby food company selling life insurance products. Really, right there should have been a hint, okay? Kind of sometimes if you're looking at investment products or money things, if you look at where it's advertised and what's advertised around it, it will sometimes tell you that you're not supposed to do it. I'll give you another example. 
Let's pretend that your latest financial thing you're wondering about is advertised on television. And the advertisement running next to it is a self-insert catheter or a walk-in bathtub or a Snuggie. That tells you that the life insurance or the, 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 that the, the financial product being advertised is crap. And so let's think about who advertises right next to walk-in bathtubs, self-insert catheters, and Snuggies. Uh, reverse mortgages with the funds. Or Magnum PI. Yeah. And who else advertises there? Um, what's that guy? What, I can't remember. He played in a Mel Gibson movie that was a really cool movie. He was the bad guy. He got killed. He was the medium-level bad guy. Uh, but he does the gold coins thing, you know, with the bad teeth guy. Yeah. He's got, like, caps on his caps. I can't think of it. He's an actor, but he does the gold coins event. He does the gold coins. So the gold coins is right in there. Yeah, it fits right in the mix here. Um, what else is advertised there? Hmm. Oh, we'll get you out of your income taxes for free. We will get you out of your, you don't have to pay income taxes. I can show you how to get out of your income taxes for free. You've seen that one? Is the IRS hounding you? You've seen those ads? What are they advertised? Right next to Snuggie, right next to a self-insert catheter, and right next to the walk-in bathtubs. So that tells you right there, the quality of your financial products. And, you know, Gerber Life is right there in that same bunch of people, in that same neighborhood. No, they're not advertising on the cable TV, but think about it. I mean, what are they doing? It's, it's a baby food company. Please. Please. Really. I mean, you buy your car there, too? I mean, I got a car. I got a Gerber Life car. I got a Gerber Life blue jeans. Really? I mean, you just don't think of them that way, do you? I mean, I don't think the baby food's bad, but maybe they should have stuck to that. Here's the trick. They probably make more on the life insurance. <laughs> it's really profitable because it's crap. Oh, it's really profitable because it's crap. So here's the thing. No, we don't do Gerber life, life insurance. We don't do any life insurance that is an investment because here's the deal. One more time, let's walk through it. $100 a month going out the door. For whole life life insurance for those of you that are an adult. Now, we did $22 a month here and showed you how bad it was a minute ago. You can buy the same amount of term life insurance for about $5 a month that you could spend 100 on for whole life. That means $95 is going into the quote-unquote investment side to build up your cash value, which has an average rate of return with whole life of 1.2%. On universal life of 4.2% and on variable life 7.3% after fees. These are outside studies that I'm quoting that have absolutely nothing to do with you in the life insurance business. Now they tell you all kinds of other rates, but that's the actual after fees rate of return that you can expect. And when you finally build up a cash value because you put $95 out of every hundred in there and you die, they pay the face amount. They pay the life insurance amount. What happened to your savings account? They keep it. It's, it, it's the payday lender of the middle class, people. It's a piece of garbage. Stay away from cash value life insurance of any kind, investment life insurance of any kind. Never use that as an investment. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest content and check out these other great clips from the show.